So in the last class, we have already seen IODB template. This is very important. We have seen this IODB template, all the variations, all the questions. Okay. The five, I told you there are six problems which are similar to each other. I told you, okay, total six problems we have seen which are similar to each other. For example, you can notice combination with repetition. Okay. So these problems are similar to each other, right? So this is your combination with repetition. Okay. This problem is same as your identical object and distinct boxes. Okay. And this problem is same as no negative integer solutions of a equation. This problem is same as K element multi set. K element multi set. This problem is same as multi set problem. And the last, pro okay. So all these problems are same. And this is non decreasing or non increasing integer sequence. So all these problems are IODB template. Okay. All these problems, all these problems, they are IODB template. All these problems are IODB template. I can say IODB template. Okay. Or I can say a star bar. All these problems are your star bar problem. Okay, so this these are your star bar problems. Very simple. Now, let me just tell you this notation. Some authors they use it. This is not a standard notation, so you don't have to worry about it. In the gate exam, they will not give you this notation, but some authors they use this notation. So basically, what this notation means, okay, this notation, what this notation means. This notation basically means that n plus k minus 1 ck. Okay, this is the idea. So basically what this notation means, can anyone tell me what, what is this value? What is this value? Combinatorial. What is the argument? Combinatorial argument for this value. What is the logic for this value? What is this value? This value n plus k minus 1 k. n plus k minus 1 ck. What is the idea here? So here basically you have total k stars uh, and n minus 1 bars. So I can say this is your k stars. So you have k stars and n minus 1 bars, right? Okay, so either you can say like this. What is another way of saying this? Either you have k stars and n minus 1 bars. The another way is basically you have, I can say that you have k chocolates. You have k identical chocolates. You have k identical chocolates. And there are total how many? How many children? There are total how many children? Total n children. Total n children. Because when you have n children, then you have n minus one bars. Okay, so very simple. You have n children, k identical chocolates. These identical chocolates, these k chocolates, you want to distribute to these n children. Okay, so that is the number of ways. So this is the idea. So finally, here what will be the answer? If you if you do this, k identical chocolates, n children. Because you have n children, so there will be n minus one bars. So you have n minus one bars, and there are k chocolates, so k stars. Okay, this k will be the star, and then finally this. And this value is this this value is written as some authors they write like this, double like this. Is this clear to everyone? This notation is this notation clear? Okay, so basically this uh, this is the idea. So for example, if I ask you. If I ask you what is the value of like four four two, then what that means? That is basically it's like four plus two minus one c two. Okay, it's remember, remember if you have this, like okay, you have something here, like if you have something here, if you have something here, then what that will be? That will be basically a a plus b minus one and b. So in this notation, let me tell you, in this notation, basically, in this notation, this k is your objects. This k is your objects or stars. This k is your objects or stars. And this n is your boxes. This n is your boxes. Okay. So this is the idea. So for example, here we have four boxes and there are two stars. Uh, four boxes, two chocolates. Four children, two chocolates. So that will be number of bars will be four minus one. That is three. So this value you will get. Okay. Is this clear? Is this notation clear? The notation is very simple. This stands for stars. This is what is your stars. Or I can say this is your objects, identical objects. This is this stands for how many identical objects you have. Identical objects. And this is basically your boxes. This is your boxes. So finally, you will get this value. Okay. So this is just a notation. Now, let's move on. So how to find out? which are boxes and which are objects. 
in the gate exam they can give you any question any new question they can give they can create a new question okay like six questions we already know yes agree in the gate exam these six questions if they give you can solve like combination with repetition if they give you can solve okay like identical object distinct boxes if they give you can solve if they give an equation and they ask you non-negative integer solution you can solve if they ask you multi-set you can solve if they ask you non-decreasing non-increasing sequence you can solve but they can give you another problem okay remember these are six standard problems these are six standard problems but there can be more problems in the gate exam they can create new problems okay so so whichever problem they give you new problem any problem they give you what you will find out what you will find out you will find out whether it is iodb template or not this is what you will find out you will find out whether this is iodb template this is your this is what you will find is this iodb template or not whatever problem they give you whatever okay whatever problem they give you what you will check you will check is it iodb template or not and what is iodb template iodb template is like this like this like can you can you write that problem like this can you read that problem like this okay can you read that problem like this like this can you read that problem okay where only number matters where only number matters how many number where only number matters here not the content not the content so this is your iodb template so whatever problem they give you you will check you will check is it iodb template or dodb template or doib template or ioib template which template it is and this is your iodb template this template is known as iodb template you know okay now in this iodb template which are the boxes and which are the objects how will you find does anyone have this doubt how to find which are the boxes which are the objects does anyone have this doubt so let's solve this so which will be the boxes tell me which will be the boxes anyone which will be the boxes the boxes will be in, like this type of equation if you make this type of equation you make okay remember boxes will be in this type of equation these will be the boxes these will be the boxes or i can say yes distinct yes distinct but basically the idea is boxes will be like this to whom you are distributing boxes are like this and objects are objects are okay which how many you want okay how many total you want how many total you want that will be your objects like how many total we want r how many total we want r okay and these are the box and these are the boxes and for here i can say these are the boxes okay so always always how to find which are the objects objects basically those how many you total you want this will be the objects for example let's take example if you have a size k multi set from n objects size k multi set i want from n objects then tell me which are the boxes which are the box like how many boxes you have how many boxes you have okay how many boxes you have and boxes you have and boxes you have and boxes you have because objects means how many you want object means how many you want please please don't make how many you want object means how many how many how many you want so tell me how many we want tell me how many we want we want k we want k how many we want we want k is it clear is this clear to everyone is this point clear object means how many we you want just ask yourself ask yourself how many you want so how many you want you want total k you want total k so these k objects will be basically these k will be the objects and these n are the boxes for example okay for example these n objects they can be like these n objects they can be like a comma b comma c for example this k can be for multi set you want so i can say a a b c i can say a a a a okay i can say a a b b and so on agree 
so is this clear to everyone whenever you want to find which are the objects how many you want the okay very simple is this clear how many you want next how many size k multi set from an object so what will be the answer how many size k multi set from an object from an object how many size k multi set so these n objects these n objects these are like these n objects are like b1 b2 bn these are your n objects okay so you want total k b1 is there b2 is there okay bn is there so total how many you want total how many you want total you want total k total k you want okay how many b1 you are taking how many b2 you are taking how many b and bn you are taking for example here 2a i am taking 1b i am taking 1c i am taking 4a i am taking 0b 0c 2a 2b 0c okay so for this question how many size k multi set from n objects so here i can say this k will be the stars so we will have k stars and because we have n objects so there will be n minus 1 bars so the answer will be n plus k minus 1 ck okay remember this answer is wrong n plus c minus okay this and this this answer will be wrong so do not by heart if you by heart this type of mistake you will do so do not by heart just do the star bar always apply the star bar so there will be k star and n minus 1 bar in this question what are the objects and what are the boxes which are boxes which are objects so choosing k elements from n kind of element so how many you want can anyone tell me how many you want object means how many you want so can anyone tell me how many you want so object means how many you want so how many you want you want basically k this k is what you want so this will be your objects and these are n kind of boxes so these n n boxes you have okay with the repetition so this is your cwr this is your problem cwr combination with repetition okay so tell me what will be the answer how many ways for choosing k elements from n kind of element with repetition with repetition so this is combination with repetition so clearly you have the okay k stars and clearly there are n minus 1 bars so here the answer will be n plus k minus 1 c k this will be the answer or you can do n plus k minus 1 c n minus 1 this also will be the answer okay tell me here which are the stars which are the boxes which are the objects distributing k identical elements to n people distributing people are always distinct people can never be same people can never be same okay you have n k identical elements so this is your iodb problem this is your iodb problem so which are the objects how many you okay so these are the identical objects are identical you know that objects are identical so here we have objects are k and boxes are distinct and boxes are distinct so boxes are total n so here the answer is how many ways to distribute k identical elements to n people so this n people so that will become n minus 1 bars and these k these will become k stars and finally answer will be n plus k minus 1 ck this value you can also write like this okay so this value this value you can also write like this this is just a notation so this same value you can also write like this in this what is the star what is the bar like uh, what are the objects what are the boxes so what you want non increasing sequence non increasing sequence of k integers from a set of n integers so how many you want object are basically k how many you want and boxes are basically n okay objects are k because objects means how many you want objects means how many you want how many you want tell me how many you want how many you want tell me you want k integers because you want a non increasing sequence of k integers you this is what you want this is your desire so you want k uh, non increasing sequence of k integers so this k will be the objects and these this from this set from this set so this will be your boxes 
so how many will be there how many non increasing sequence of k integers from a set of n integers how many non increasing sequence will be there so that is very simple so base very simple basically k stars you have n minus 1 bars you have and the answer will be like this okay n k this will be the answer very simple okay and that is same as n plus k minus 1 c k so all these things are they clear to everyone now let's solve this question so tell me what will be the answer how many non increasing sequence i am asking how many non increasing sequence of six integers from this set so what that will be we want six integers from this set so this is a iodb problem this is a iodb problem because because how these are your boxes how many these you are taking how many okay remember this is your iodb problem why this is iodb problem because clearly how many how many these you are taking let me take two how many these you are taking how many these you are taking and how many these you are taking okay then then tell me what will be sequence what will be your sequence if i do this i want non increasing sequence because i want non increasing sequence so i will get because i am taking 3 3 i am taking okay there is 0 2 then there is okay 1 then there is 0 0 so this i will get okay this i will get this is the sequence this i will get and tell me here which sequence i will get 5 like okay let me take 0 6 0 0 which sequence i will get if i do this then i will get this sequence 0 0 0 0 0 okay so tell me how many non increasing sequences will be there of six integers how many non increasing sequences will be there sequences so they, their answer will be you have basically you have uh, total you have three stars sorry three bars so you have total three bars you have and this is what you want so you have six stars so the answer will be 6 plus 3 c3 and the answer will be 9 c3 this will be the 9 c3 okay the answer will be 9 c3 but rem okay remember okay is this valid or invalid is this valid or invalid this is valid this is valid because remember sequence i am asking sequence i am asking please focus i am asking sequence okay remember what is a sequence sequence is a ordered first of all these are the properties of sequence sequence is also always ordered sequence is always ordered and repetition allowed in a sequence by default repetition allowed by default repetition allowed okay remember in a sequence by default re repetition is allowed so what is a sequence so for example this is a ordered this is a list basically sequence is like a list this is like a list okay so like this is a sequence 0 0 0 1 this is a sequence and this sequence is not same as this sequence is different from this sequence these are different sequences this sequence is different from this sequence okay this sequence is different from this sequence this is a sequence of length 2 here we have length 2 okay and here we have length 3 so first of all this is ordered so you cannot sequence sequence or list these are ordered and by default repetition is allowed is it clear to everyone so i am asking about the sequence so here you can notice that uh, in this in this question this sequence you will get this sequence you will get so the answer will be 9c3 but if i ask you how many uh, okay okay tell me how many non decreasing now i am asking how many non decreasing now what will be the answer now what will be the answer the same answer will not change the same answer will not change because again okay okay again i am asking sequence so it is valid it is valid this is this is a valid sequence this is a valid sequence i am asking i am asking sequence please understand the difference okay this is valid for example here we have 0 1 2 3 how many zero i am taking how many one i am taking how many two i am taking and so tell me if i take this if i take for example i take like this then tell me what sequence i will get which sequence i am going to get i want non decreasing sequence it means i am want increasing sequence so i have two zeros i have two zeros i have three ones and i have okay i have three ones and i have one two so this is a sequence 
and this is a valid sequence so here the answer will be same 9c3 the answer will be 9c3 because i am asking about the sequence please note okay next if i ask you this question then what will be the answer now now what is going to be the answer how many integers now i am asking integer this is the difference now i am asking integer how many integers are there for example now you can notice that okay how many integer of six digits so for example uh, this is the integer of integer of two digits for example this is integer of two digits if i write integer of two digits if i write integers of two digits then this is not a valid number this is not a valid number this is a valid number okay so i now i am asking integer so are okay are there having their digits in non increasing order from left to right from this set i want decreasing order this decreasing order i want so here the answer will be what the answer will be 9c3 9c3 answer will be there but remember remember i want non increasing order i want non increasing order so can i take zero can i take zero non increasing means decreasing order i want so can i take zero can i use zero can i use zero like like is this possible can i take zero for example can i take can i take two zero uh, maybe okay three zero one one zero and uh, maybe two so tell me is it is it a valid is this valid yes this is valid because i want non non increasing order i want non increasing order i want non increasing order i want so this is valid 3 3 then there will be one then there will be 0 0 sorry integer i want integer so this integer i will get i will get this integer 3 3 3 3 1 0 0 0 yes this is a valid integer this is a valid integer i want non increasing i want so yes zero i can take so the answer will be 9c3 minus 1 because of all zero this will be for all zeros when you take all zeros this will be for that so this will be your answer okay so if you are confused if you are confused non increasing non increasing basically just okay if you are confused just think like decreasing just think like decreasing so yes zero zero can be there zero can be there because zero can be at the end yes or no non increasing means decreasing so the answer will be 9c3 minus 1 and this minus 1 is for all zeros and tell me the answer for this question again i want integers of six digits having their in non decreasing order remember non decreasing that simply means increasing that simply means increasing okay so increasing order from this set now can i use zero like can i use zero 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 can i use zero like for example can i do this for example can i do this now this i cannot do because what i will get because i want increasing order i want increasing order so this i will get 1 1 2 2 2, 2. and this is not a five this is not a six digit integer this is not six digit integer this is not six digit integer so the i cannot use zero the point is i cannot use zero so basically here this zero i cannot use this zero you cannot use and because you cannot use this zero so finally only two bars will be there so only there will be two bars okay so the answer will be two bars and six stars so the answer will be 6 plus 2 okay this will be your answer answer will be 8c2 is it clear so all these variations are they clear so this is your summary we have already seen all these things you can just read that okay so here i think this is wrong the number of ways so what should be there okay what should be there tell me here what should i write here like here there is some mistake here this there is some mistake here so tell me where should i write n where should i write k where should i write n where should i write k i want this Uh, basically this formula is for which problem the number of ways to put how many identical balls so the number of balls identical balls that should be k and this box should be n okay correct 
So this is just a correction here. Anyway, the remaining things we already know, we have already seen. So tell me the answer for this question. You have 11 biographies and eight mysteries. There are 11 biographies, eight mysteries that you want to arrange on a bookshelf such that no two mysteries can be adjacent to each other. So how many rearrangements are possible? So here, what will be the answer? No two mysteries, no, no two mysteries together. Okay, no two mysteries together. So what you will do? This template we have already seen. No two mysteries together. This template we have seen, we have already seen. So first you arrange the biography. So first these biography you arrange, that will happen in 11 factorial ways. This will happen for biographies. This biography can arrange in 11 factorial ways. And then there are 12 gaps. There are total 12 gaps. Okay, there will be 12 gaps. From these 12 gaps, these eight mysteries can permute. These eight mysteries can permute. These eight mysteries can permute. Okay, so quite simple this question. Next. So remember here, we have seen four things we have seen. Combination with repetition, permutation with repetition, combination without repetition, permutation without repetition. So you can notice order matters means permutation. So this is the permutation row. If repetition is not allowed, then NPK. If repetition is allowed, then this will be formula. Here order does not matter, means combination. This is the combination. If repetition not allowed, then NCK. If repetition is allowed, then then this N comma K. So try this question. This is your gate question. Gate 2003. So what will be the answer? The question is very simple. So there are M identical balls. Total you have M identical balls are to be placed in N distinct bags. So this is your IODB template, right? Yes or no? You have N distinct bags. And so this is your IODB template, I can say. This is your IODB template. You are given that M is greater than or equal to KN, where K is a natural number greater than or equal to one. In how many ways can the balls be placed such that each bag must contain at least K balls? So what will you do? At least K balls in every bag. So total N bags you have, B1, B2, and total n bags you have so okay and every bag should have at least and at least k balls must be there in every bag so what you do to every bag directly give k directly give because all the balls are identical all the balls are identical identical balls so because all the balls are identical so every bag to every children to every child we can give k chocolates directly K chocolates you can give directly because all the chocolates are same. So K chocolates to everyone you can give. Now, finally, what will you get? Now this equation you will get B1 plus B2 and so on Bn. Now, how many are remaining? So from N you have given uh, from M, there were total M. From that you have given Kn. So these are the remaining. So this will be your stars. This will be your stars and there will be n minus one bars. Okay, so finally the answer will be what? That will be m minus k, okay, so uh, k minus one, yes. So the answer will be option B. So this is a very simple question. Now, this is just another, how many multi-set you can create? Okay, so this we have already seen. Now let's solve this question. So let's try them one by one. You can only use these digits, one to nine. How many four digit number are there? How many four digit, how many four digit number you want? Four digit number you want. So because you want four digit number, there is no restriction because you want four digit number. Okay, so the answer will be very simple, nine power four. Because for every position, we have nine choices. There are nine choices for every position. So the answer will be nine power four. Next, what, what is the answer for this? How many four digit numbers have four different digits? Have four different digits. So basically from nine, you select four, select four digits, select four digits, select four digits. First you select four digits. These four digits can arrange in four factorial ways. These four digits can arrange in four factorial ways. This is your method number one. Another method, what is that? Another method, 
another method without repetition without repetition nine choices here eight choices here seven choices here six choices here this is another another is permutation from n from n you permute total four elements you permute four elements so these are the three methods three different methods you can try yes or no three different methods you can try for this question all these methods method number one two three okay let's see this how many four elements subset how many four elements subset you have from this how many four elements subset you have so that will be 9c4 that will be 9c4 9c4 okay next what is the answer for this how many four digit how many four digit non decreasing numbers how many four digit non decreasing numbers so this is your this is your iodb template this is your iodb template your favorite template iodb template why this is your favorite template because if any good question comes from this template then you will be able to solve but many students will not be able to solve because this is not easy iodb template is not easy because many different questions can be created from this template so understanding is very important okay understanding of all the problems in this template is very important and we have seen that so now i hope this iodb is your favorite template like did you understand this iodb template did you understand like every question whatever question comes to you you can just check is it iodb template yes it is iodb template star bar okay don't buy hard the formula just apply the star bar so you can notice non decreasing numbers four digit so four digit means four stars four digit means four stars this is what you want and total how many bars total there will be eight bars total there will be eight bars so the answer will be eight plus four c4 or eight plus four c8 next let me write strictly increasing let me write strictly increasing now tell me if i write strictly increasing now this is not a iodb template strictly increasing strictly increasing this is not iodb template now what is this this is not iodb template because now you want strictly increasing it means just select four digits just select four digits and how many ways they can arrange how many ways so just select four digits they can arrange in only one way they can arrange in only one way okay tell me about this one how many four digit non increasing numbers are there again the same this is same your iodb template non increasing so the answer will be very simple the answer will be total eight bars you have total eight bars plus there are four stars c four stars okay so the answer will be 12 c4 or i can say 12 c8 see this word they will never give you if you check any gate question if you check any gate question they will not give you this word because this word we don't know what this means does it mean non decreasing does it mean non decreasing or or it means strictly increasing we don't know what this word means so in the gate exam if you check all the questions they will never use this word they will always use non decreasing non increasing strictly increasing strictly decreasing these words they will use this word will not be used this is a ambiguous word this is a ambiguous word not used in gate you can check all the gate exam questions you will never find this word this is not used this is not used in uh, i can say this will not be given in gate in the gate they will give you non decreasing non increasing strictly increasing strictly decreasing strictly increasing that is also called monotonically increasing strictly increasing strictly increasing that is also called this strictly increasing that is also called monotonically increasing monotonically increasing this 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 word they will give you okay so don't worry about this uh, ambiguous word this is a ambiguous word